Hey, welcome everybody to Trades and Reproduction Lesson 3.5, Revisiting Key Concepts. So you just took your critical juncture assessment, and uh, I hope you feel pretty good about it. I hope you feel like you were able to answer a lot of those questions, that uh, they made sense, that uh, you felt like you had good responses. Um, so let's start off today's lesson with our warm-up. And you, if you have taken the critical juncture assessment, will be put into a color group. Um, and you will have a different warm-up based on whichever color that uh, you are. So um, follow the instructions for the warm-up. Uh, I believe you will be annotating a diagram. Um, and I think there's some questions for you to answer as well, depending on which color group that you are in. So go ahead, find your warm-up, and complete it. And come on back to me. Next, you're going to be uh, doing an activity in the sim. And again, it's based on your color group that you received. So here is a letter from Dr. Ada Sitari, uh, lead scientist of a medical company, subject genetic disease research. Ooh, genetic disease is interesting. Our lab needs to know more about hemophilia and other genetic diseases in order to develop additional treatments. Hey, hemophilia, we learned about that, didn't we? Yeah, we talked about that. Uh, that's where the... Uh, blood isn't carrying enough oxygen, something like that. Yeah, I want to I go back and, and remind myself what that was. Today, you will use the sim and read more about genetic diseases. The activities you complete today will help our genetic researchers make progress in curing or preventing these diseases. So you are going to use the sim um, to review key ideas about traits and reproduction. Um, you're going to be recording down um, different gene versions that some of the spiders have, uh, trying to predict what gene versions their offspring might have, um, and you're going to apply what you've learned to help the Bay Medical Company. So again, yeah, when you get to this activity, I believe it's activity two, um, in the simulation, uh, you will follow whatever your color group has been assigned. Um, follow the directions closely, please. I'm not gonna go through all the instructions for every single color group in this video, um, but if you do need help, you can uh, send me an email and ask. Uh, and then once you have completed the sim activity, and there's a number of questions for you to answer as well, make sure you answer all those, uh, and then come on back to me. We got some other things to do. All right, next, we're gonna be doing some reading about genetic disorders. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at slide number nine. The sim uses spiders to show ideas about traits, proteins, genes, and how gene versions are inherited during sexual reproduction. These ideas do not just apply to spiders. Now we've discussed this and we've talked about this and mentioned it um, throughout this unit that a lot of what we're learning about genes and inheritance reproduction with spiders, we can apply to ourselves and not just ourselves, but a lot of different organisms. Um, so you are going to be reading about one disorder. It's either going to be hemophilia, cystic fibrosis, or uh, disorders caused by multiple genes. Um, and there are questions for you to answer. I have attached these questions as a form um, in Google Classroom to this assignment. So after you do your reading, please fill out that form and answer the questions. And then ah, come on back to me. After reading that article, let's come back to this question, our chapter three question. Why do the Darwin's bark spider offspring have different gene combinations, even though they have the same parents? Is there anything in the article that you read that could help you answer this question a little bit better? Um, anything in the simulation that you've done that you can uh, help you answer this question better? Why do Darwin's bark spider offspring have different gene combinations, even though they have the same parents. We will come back to this question when we uh, meet again as a class. Uh, for now, let's jump to the homework. Ooh, woolly mammoths, cool. Uh, for this activity, you will read and annotate an article about how scientists are trying to use cloning to bring back extinct mammoths. Uh, I remember when I uh, assigned this a couple years ago, there was actually quite a few articles about cloning mammoths and um, uh, really, really just fascinating stuff. Um, people are finding more and more uh, mammoth remains now that um, ice is receding and permafrost is melting. Um, there's a lot more that are exposed. Anyways, um, read the article, annotate it. Um, I, I, ooh, do you have, yep, yeah, looks like you, you do have some questions um, after you read the article. And then, uh, hey, after that, you're done. We'll see you next time.